You may be wasting money in extremely common, but often overlooked ways. Here's a way you probably didn't know you could make a decent savings from everyday stuff you have been throwing into the trash can for the garbage truck to pick up. Welcome to your YouTube channel. Remember, you are the original of yourself. There is no duplicate of you anywhere in the world. I am here to guide you today on how you can stop wasting money on compost and make your homemade compost by just using your kitchen and home yard trashes. Imagine filling five shopping bags with fresh fruit and veggies. You must have paid some good money for that lot. You will discover that the waste from peels, shreds you will gather at the end for maybe a full load of a shopping bag and that full load will then be dumped in the bin. Sounds crazy? That is the reality of how much food people waste. According to a study by Foodwise, up to 20% of every food we buy ends up in the trash bin. It is also said that an average American family throws food worth $1,600 away annually. Australia accounts for $1,036 annually. The story is not different all over the world. Food is wasted without recourse. By the end of this video, you will know how best to manage resources and not waste money anymore. You will surely be able to turn a garden and kitchen waste into good compost in less than a month or two. Homemade compost is called black gold due to the fact that it is extremely useful for your vegetables. The decision to prepare your homemade compost is one that will save you precious time and money. If you are a veggie lover and want fresh veggies for your lunch or dinner, but you are troubled about providing organic compost to your veggies, don't worry, we are going to fulfill your wish and you will have delicious and garden fresh veggies on your table every day. Applying homemade compost to your soil makes for happy plants and a better time tending your garden. Here are some of the reasons why homemade compost is your best bet in your garden. Number one, homemade compost enriches the soil, helping retain moisture and suppress plant disease. Number two, you will get rid of synthetic fertilizers, so this will be a money-saving plant. Number three, because this is natural, beneficial bacteria will grow properly, which is very useful for your lovely veggies. Number four, you will get more yield from your small field. Number five, helps balance the pH of your soil. Number six, makes clay and other soils more friable, which means they will be easier to crumble and dig in. How to prepare homemade compost? Composting requires three basic ingredients, carbon, nitrogen, and water. For a proper compost, we need to ration 50-50 of nitrogen and carbon. Carbon will improve the growth of your veggies and nitrogen is the main component of chlorophyll, which will help your veggies to retain lush green. Before we go further, please subscribe to this channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so you will be the first to know every day of the week when I upload another video for you. Also click the like button and give a thumbs up. The components of your compost will be basically divided into two broad sections, brown and green. By providing brown and green, you will have finer and fresher veggies. Brown ingredient is the source of carbon, while green ingredients are the source of nitrogen. Browns, this includes materials such as dead leaves, branches, and twigs. Greens, this includes materials such as grass clippings, vegetable waste, fruit scraps, and coffee grounds. And I am sure all these materials will be available in your kitchen dustbin. Water. Having the right amount of water, greens, and browns are important for compost development. Select a dry, shady spot near a water source for your compost pile or bin. Add brown and green materials as they are collected, making sure larger pieces are chopped and shredded. Moisten dry materials as they are added. Once your compost pile is established, mix grass clippings and green waste into the pile and bury fruit and vegetable waste under 10 inches of compost material. Paper towel, paper bags, tissue rolls, eggshells, tea bags, and all manner of waste goes into your compost hip. Add some earth to the trash in order to speed up the decomposing process. 
It will help the development of worms and other organic matters, which will help in breaking down the compost components. Cover top of compost with a tarp to keep it moist. The hip can be turned over every two weeks so that the materials will be evenly distributed. And part of the compost will be ready for use at the same time. You need to water the hip to a reasonable moist. Water helps the organic compositions in the hip to decompose quickly. A dry hip will not decompose, rather the heat of the sun will dry it up and that is not what you want. When the material from the bottom through to the top is dark and rich in color, your compost is ready to use. This usually takes anywhere between one month to two months, or maybe a little more if the pile is properly managed. If you do not have space for an outdoor compost pile, you can compost materials indoors using a special type of bin, which you can buy at a local hardware store, gardening supplies store, or yourself. But for saving your time and money, make it by yourself. Well, I hope this info is valuable to you. Please comment down below for video suggestions that you want to see on your next channel. Subscribe to this channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so you will be the first to know every day of the week when I upload. Also, click the like button and give a thumbs up. And don't forget, you are the original of yourself. There is no duplicate of you anywhere in the world.